Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, following on from our recent look at the classic Windows Phone inspired Square Home launcher, as well as Microsoft's very own creation, this time I thought we'll take a quick dive into one based on the brand new Windows 11 UI, taking our standard boring home screens and giving it the sophisticated PC look. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So with this launcher, you're not only going to get this super clean PC aesthetic with your home screen resembling that recognizable Windows layout as well as its icons, but just like the Windows 11 interface itself, you also get this quick access side panel, which along with handling all of your notifications also has these quick access setting tiles. Now a few of you may have already noticed the people tab that most of us found so annoying on Windows 10 actually makes an appearance here. But this time it's super simple to set up and gives you instant access to your phone's contacts. And as for Microsoft's Cortana, it's been replaced with a Google search bar. Oh and not forgetting the Windows Explorer UI has been brought over to allow you to easily manage all of your phone's files. Now to get this launcher on your phone, just head over to the Play Store and install the app Computer Launcher 2. After which, just give it a few moments to load up the launcher and you should be instantly welcome to this desktop theme. Now, make sure to explore the full length of the launcher in order to be prompted by these permission requests. And each time, make sure to click allow in order for it to work correctly. So now that we have that out the way, let's look at some of its customization options. Now by simply long pressing on the home screen, you can access this extended menu. Now using this, you can not only add and remove pages, but also change up the entire look and feel of the launcher itself. Applying skinned alternative takes of the launcher through the theme section, installing the custom accompanying lock screen app, which goes with the aesthetic look of our launcher, or even keep things simple with a UI color change which affects not only the taskbar, but also your home screen widgets as well. And speaking of widgets, this launcher brings with it a couple nifty little indicators. Just simply check them off and you'll add them to your home screen. Additionally, there is support for third party widgets as well. However, at times this can be a little hit and miss. Saying that to resize any one of them, just simply long press it and then tap on these increase or decrease buttons. Now there is quite a lot that this launcher brings to the table, so make sure to check it out yourself to see what it's fully capable of. And on a final note, don't forget to head to the settings option to access the full launcher customization options, where you can adjust the core aspects of the launcher itself. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.